Mr. Ant and the Caterpillar. It was a shiny day, a perfect day, whether in the grass or on a branch, no matter where, even you would want to stay. Deep down in the forest below lies a baby caterpillar that walks too slow. He eats and eats and eats some more until the leaves are gone and he wants some more. Ants, on the other hand, also look for food, yelling, move out of my way, as they are really rude. Come on, move it, Mr. Big Man. I need to go home and you're big as a frying pan. Hey now, that's not nice to call me names. I can't move as fast as I'm a lot bigger than you and I'm sorry that's to blame. I don't care about how big you are. If you would stop eating, maybe you would move faster and really go far. Now you listen up, Mr. Ant. One day I'll grow up and be as beautiful as a sunflower plant. Just move out of my way. The world would be better off without you caterpillars standing in the way. Months go by, days and nights. Moons go up, suns go down. What a beautiful sight. Along comes the ant, fast and all. Just a regular day looking for food, whether it be small or tall. Oh no, what has happened? Ant is in trouble. There's a spider hunting him down. He sure could use some help on the double. Ant is crying for help. No one is around. Just Mr. Ant and the spider with a mean old frown. This is it. It's time to go. As a tear drops from his eye, then all of a sudden, shadows of wings appear in the sky. Don't worry, Mr. Ant. I'm here to help. With one quick scoop, he reached down and just like a chicken, they flew the coop. They landed safely on the ground, away from the spider with a mean old frown. Thank you so much. How can I repay? The butterfly says. Today you shall say hello to any caterpillar that stands in your way. Introduce yourself nicely and so politely for one day that caterpillar may be your friend in need to hug onto so tightly. 